Over the last 20 years, I kept hearing of kukumanga fruit as a high sexual stimulant, especially amongst the Akamba community. Well, I've finally come across it. It's known as pomegranate. It's a red fruit with a tough outer back like layer that originated from Persia. It's found in many people's fences, probably eaten by the birds. Pomegranate trees in Kenya sometimes grow in tropical areas and they conjointly grow in cold areas as well. However, they must be protected against extreme cold and frost. Pomegranate trees in Kenya like the sun. Pomegranate may be a notably thorny plant with tiny waxy leaves and it's a hardy plant. They can do best in any area in Kenya, whether arid or semi-arid. High temperatures tend to boost the flavor of the fruit. One pomegranate fruit in Kenya retails at about 150 to 300 shillings and goes for about 700 shillings a kilo. It's quite a pricey fruit. Now let's learn more about pomegranate. Yeah, siku mpaka ni, ni kule moja. Siku tu mimi nakuja kufanya kazi mpaka ni kule moja. Na mwili wangu mimi naona inakuwa mzuri. Afu bila unaniangalia. Miaka yangu. Si ndo naona. Mm. Yet another exciting episode of Kilimona Biashara. We are in Nyeri County and look here, we have various types of fruits right here. We have macadamia, strawberry, pixie oranges, tangerine, name them, even strawberries. Now, today we want to focus on a rather unique fruit. It's called pomegranate. Well, in Swahili, the agronomist will tell us what's the name. So Cliff is right here, who's the agronomist? Cliff, yes. how are you? Very fine, thank you. Ebu, let's start. Yes. What is the name of this fruit? Uh, this fruit, as you can see, it, uh, is called pomegranate in English. And Kiswahili is called? Mtani wanaita kukumanga. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me more about this fruit. Pomegranate actually is a wonder fruit uh, which has many benefic benefits to humans. Mm -hmm. That is both financially and mm -hmm. health wise. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of financial, we find uh, a farmer can invest in it in terms of uh, long term retirement benefits. Well, this will be an interesting show for sure. Yeah. Where is the farm? The farm is just around, uh -huh. uh, so we can just go. Okay. Be able to see the mature trees and how we go about them. Uh, we can pick a few seedlings. Mm -hmm. So as you go, as you see the mature trees, we can okay. also plant some so that ah. we can also be equipped on how we plant them. Okay. Yeah. Here we go with this. Yeah. Sour. I'm really curious. I want to see how they look. Definitely you will. <laughs> Yes, please. How are you? What? I'm so well. How are you? I'm so well. 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 Sana. Una yuko safi sana? Eh, ziko smart sana. Um, where, where do you know na miss? Where do you know kama ni smart? <laughs> Usha zoea. Eh, yeah, ama me, me shangalia kama hivi. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ziko smart sana. Enyewe, no. kama watu enaona ni mzuri, mm -hmm. miss, juu, siwe zijua kama ni kuna... <laughs> Umesha zoea. So, kale yake haswani gani? Mpaka iwe, mpaka iwe nyekundu. Uh-huh. Ikiwa nyekundu, mm. juu inakuwa mzuri. Ah. Eh, Do imeiva? Sasa imeiva. Mm -hmm. Igawa ni kuna miti ya inabiri, ni kuna hii na hii na hituwa giant. Inakuwa wanaputa kubwa sana. Ni kama avocado pia kuna giant. Eh, na hii na hii ina hituwa wadafu. Hii wadafu, na isapata matuda, hii ina isapata matuda kama nani. Kwa nini moja? Kwa tudu moja, mahali moja tu. Kwa grupu moja hivi ina isapata nani. 
inaweza kuwa kama na hii wadafu lakini naye hawezi mm -hmm. kuwa na matunda kubwa kama hii giant. Uh -huh. e. Giant inakaa kubwa but haikusanyiki ina... mingi. E, na hii giant mm. inakuwa tayari hata kabla hajakuwa nyekundu. kati ya hii matunda yote yenye tunajua uliamua aje kupanda pomegranate nilianza kama mimi sikuwa na ufahamu yake lakini nienda kwa, kwa eh, supermarket nikaona bei yake wakati niona bei yake ndio nikafikiria nilikuwa mtoto mtu mtu akima kaka 10 10 niliona karibu na kwetu alafu ndio nikafikiria na hii bei na hii hii tuna naweza mpatikana hapa paka nitajaribu bego yake mpaka niipate Sasa nyakati ilikuwa shilingi ngapi? Supermarket ilikuwa nauza shilingi 900 shillings per kilo. To, that was 19, uh, 20, 2017. So nimesikia ukisema wonderful na variety gani nyingine tena uko nayo hapa kwa shamba? Uh, Inabidi peke yake. Niko na wonderful na niko na hii giant. So ukienda kwa soko gani inahitajika sana sana na kwa bei pia? Yote ni mzuri. Hakuna baya. So hata kabla tuanze kuongelea soko ya hii matunda ulianza aje? Kwa vile nipata mashimu. Mm. Mashimu nipata bila kujua na si kukua nikijua size yake ni ni kwa ni tofauti ya kuweka distance. Sasa niweka tu kwa miguu kwa miguu hata ingine nyuma yake ni fanya nini hii? Ni interpret ni transplanted. So gioko ukishaanza kupanda, ukishapanda umetransplant, unatunza aje ndi upate mazao mazuri. Ukichaweka bolea na kuwe kuna mvua itamea bila shaka. Itamea bila shaka sababu nafunika kama kama nini unafunika majani dio isiwe isikauke na kukua kwake sio hachukui muda mrefu nachukua kama kama mwaka moja na nusu umesema it's a high altitude crop hapa hivi inachukua maji nyingi si sana hii miti ni ya mahali ya deciduous trees yani ile inatoka majani kwa hivyo ni, ma, ni ya mahali makauka kitu ile imetaka sana ni iwe isikose maji kwa, kwa mzizi kia, nyuma ya mwezi moja iwe na maji. Bolea inaeko mara ngapi ukishapanda hivyo sasa? Tangu nipande hizi na niweke bolea na kwa hiyo mshaga hapa ni mzuri sana. Sijaogeza chochote hata fertilizer. Gioko, hii pomegranate inaathiriwa sana sana na wadudu wa gani? Ni, ni fruit rot. Lakini kwa kizungu inaitwa antensia. Mimi mimi chosoma kwa internet. Wadudu wana wanataoboa nimechapata dawa yake. Kando na wadudu na magonjwa changamoto gani unapitia kama mkulima wa pomegranate? Mama kati hawezi nunua. Wanataka tu ya, ya kutoka ngambo. Sababu za nyingine mtu ndiye anapata oda, anapata matunda mingi. Na kwangu naweza patia kama kilo hamsini, ama kilo mia moja, na anataka mingi. Na sisi siwezi jua sababu gani. Lakini kifungwa ya nje, siku tunapanda mingi hapa nchini. Hiyo ya nje si itafungwa. Mm, alafu tuanze kuuza kwa bei mzuri. Naona sasa hii shamba yako iko na mazao mazuri. Wewe unauza wapi? Nilikuwa na watu wengine walikuwa na nunu ya Nairobi. Alafu hii ugonjwa ikaleta tabu hiyo ya fruit rot. Ngioko naona uko na ujuzi sana kuhusu hii kilimo. Ulisomea agriculture au ulijipata tu? Nilikuwa na ujuzi kidogo kiasi ya agriculture. Sababu hadi 70s nilikuwa nafanya kwa research stage ni kitale. Sasa kwa mkulima mwenye anapania kuanzisha ukulima kama huu, anafaanze aje? Yenyewe mtu hapana baya isipokuwa tu kitu hiki tunangojea vizuri siwezi kuamini sana siwezi kumwambia ati aidi apate sababu ataniuza mimi tauza wapi sababu mimi nauzaka kwa mtu yule anayekuja kwangu ama mtu mwingine anapigia mimi simu nataka kilo bili lakini mimi najua siku tunampata mtu kama wa kutumia sisi kama hizi kwa, kwa maduka kama supermarket pesa itaingia watu huku nje wanasema ipo mangrenet inaponya magonjwa mengi ni ukweli mimi naona kwa inta inapona magonjwa yote kwa mwili hata arthritis arthritis nini uh, high blood pressure inapoesha yote mi hata siwezi kuambia mimi kujaona hiyo majina yote kama ningejua ningekuwa nimeandika mahali mimi nitasoma juu yake umepanda hii pomegranate kwa miaka nyingi ni nini unapenda sana kuhusu hii matunda nilipendelea wakati nilisikia ina, inaponda matunda inaponya magonjwa mimi mwenyewe mimi siwezi kuja hapa kila siku mpaka ni, ni kule moja siku tu mimi nakuja kufanya kazi mpaka ni kule moja na mwili wangu mimi naona inakuwa mzuri bila unaniangalia Eh na bado uko yangu. Inasaidia aging. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Kwa kuzeka hii matunda inasemekana ina, inasaidia sana. Mm. Mm. Gioko umefikiria kuhusu value addition ya hii matunda? Ukosa uh, makosa hii iko kwa hii matunda. Tukipata kwa wingi tuwe na watu wengi, tutafanya variation hata kwa hii matunda. 
sababu ukiona ukiona kama wa supermarket unaanza juice yake kachupa tu ya 250 mils ni pesa mingi over 400 shillings na tukiwa wengi tu, tuanze factory kama hiyo ile inatoka nje tunatafunga eh tutafunga na tukifo tukivua hiyo pesa itaagia kwa mfuko wetu gioko sasa mtu akikuja kununua hii matunda kwa shamba yako kilo kilo moja ni shilingi ngapi wengi wanataka tuja moja lakini akija kwa kilo na sasa hivi hata 500 sababu ni mtu ya roko mtu ya roko mnazavia 500 ama 600 mmm kwa na vile ameingia ame kama ameingia amenona ame sisi tutapata chota hiyo <laughs> kuna matunda nyingi nyingi hapa zime zimeiva. Si tunaweza changamkia? Ah, hiyo sida. <laughs> ah, utapata. <laughs> eh, jo. Jo. Kabuli <laughs> kazi moja. Una utumie moja mabili. <laughs> Bas panda. Eh, ni pande? Eh, panda. Okay. Nashuka <laughs> tuna moja. Mm-hmm. Yaani hizi. Moja yao hiyo nataka. Mama, hii ya pili ndio imeiva vizuri. Eh, hey, imeiva. Ah, shuka vizuri. Eh. Hey tatukuja tuifanye mambo. Ah, kisu iko hapa tayari. Ah, kisu iko hapa tayari. Mm-hmm. Sio inakatwa hivi ama hivi ndio nzuri. Ah, uta, utaanza kutoa hizi kata direct. Ah. Sio hivi. Kata, kata kama shu, eh, kama orange, kama chungwa, vile unakata chungwa. Pasua na kisu. Kisu yenyewe. Rua hiyo. Wow! Hey, look at this. So beautiful, right? Sasa hata ni nionja hii. Na utafune, utafune mpaka begu, mpaka usi yake iwe kama unga umeza. Oh, ina... <laughs> Lakini mm. inakuwa nzuri mm. kama unapasua. Unapasua tena una, mara ya pili. Unatoa begu. Mm. Unatoa begu yenyewe. Si yaga yote kuziage dawa dawa inajaa kwa hiyo begu mm. Mm. Mitom, mkuu ni ngumu kidogo. Eh, hey, endelea kupaka mpaka umalize hiyo. <laughs> Hata unaona nimemaliza yako na wewe ndio ukimaliza hii. Niendelee kusiaga. Kwa yako, kama utochoka. <laughs> Nimetochoka. Mm. Kama nimechukua hii, utasuda hiyo. Hai, <laughs> wacha nichune. Agronomist is right here and is going to guide us through how to plant this particular fruit called pomegranate. So, Cliff. Yes. Niko haja hapa. Uh the size of the whole uko sawa sa hizi. Mhm. Uh now the next step is now mixing the manure with the portion of the topsoil uh-huh. that is just set aside. Oh, this. Yeah. So I mix it here or right down there? Uh you mix it first outside then now you return to the hole. Okay. Yeah. So I I pour it here? Yes. That's enough. Uh-huh. Then you mix it with jembe. Then I mix. Yeah. So I think we mix vizuri. Yes, you okay. Uh-huh. So the next step is now mixing the top soil uh-huh. uh, with a portion of manure. Uh-huh. Then you return it in the hole. Mm. The soil is just set aside. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then what next? Then now you mix in the hole uh mm-hmm. to ensure it's fine. Okay. So we do this. So now you go to the seedling itself. Mm-hmm. Uh when you look at the potting bag you can see there's a fine margin here. Mm-hmm. 
So normally you usually put the ceiling in the hole, mm -hmm. then you tear it gently mm -hmm. to ensure you don't interfere with the soil. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you can do that. Okay, let me do that. Erudition yeah. Okay. Cliff. Yes. Yes, you can go to the Yes, you can go to the Ah, yeah. Yeah. So, you okay. Yeah, you can lead the way. Oh, okay. Wow. So after this, what happens? You apply mulch mm -hmm. because you can realize the conditions at the moment, the temperatures are very high. So from here, what yes. happens? Uh, from here now, it's about management, basically, generally. Mm -hmm. uh, you find uh, these trees, they usually require timely management, that is monthly, daily, mm -hmm. whereby as a farmer, yeah. if you don't take care of them, then you might incur the instances where there's a disease breakout or pest oh. attack. Oh yes, I remember even the, the farmer mentioned that yeah. there are some of the pests and diseases affecting yeah. this farm. For pomegranates, uh, you find uh, the common pest mostly we have the fruit fly. Normally, uh, in some moths, they can call them even white flies. Because you find these are the fruits, they usually come, uh, the pests, they usually come and land on the fruits. They secrete some chemicals of which in some way contribute to the rotting of the fruits. Then we have uh, these cutworms. Uh, normally for the cutworms, we find something that is bound or triggered with the quality of the seedling that you plant. Because we find that uh, these are plants that are planted from cuttings. So the moment you source a seedling that is not certified and, or, or healthy, then that seedling is bound to carry the disease trait from the mother plant to itself. So you find, yes, you might have bought a seedling from any, any, any nursery propagator, but you find it's not certified. So for the pests and diseases that you mentioned, how can a farmer prevent them? In terms of the diseases, there's usually this aspect of uh, the rotting of the fruit. But uh, I can't give an actual name, but it's something that is usually bound or triggered with a stress, uh, nutrient stress for the plant or even water stress, like for the white flies. You find these are pests that usually like going to areas where, where there's a microclimate created. So normally we usually recommend at the end of every harvesting season, prune the trees, to allow sunlight to penetrate its all branches so that there's no any microclimate created beneath the branches. You mentioned that a farmer should get certified seeds. Where can a farmer get these seeds? Normally first I usually advise our farmers if you have to go to purchase seedlings. Uh, before purchasing, it's always good uh, to even ask for maybe certification documents for that nursery. Because whenever you ask for that, it's for your own good, you as a farmer. Because there's no point, you buy a seedling from somewhere, it's cheap, then in the long term, you come to realize what you bought is not uh, quality or not uh, certified. Cliff, you're an agronomist from Oxfam. Oxfam produces seedlings or propagates. As Oxfam, uh, we do produce uh, various seedling, fruit seedlings. Uh, some are propagated through cuttings, some are grafted, and some we produce them through seeds. So we find that all our seedlings are certified, and uh, we always like giving quality to our farmers. I saw that you have several seedlings in your nursery, but tell us, what is that unique thing about pomegranate? It's a fruit that is easily handled and managed, because we find in terms of care, it's not that complicated compared to other fruits. So long as it's planted in an area where you're able to be able to irrigate it and supply it uh, or give it manure or the fertilizers regularly, then if in terms of the management, it won't be complicated compared with other fruits. Speaking of management practices, maybe you can take us through some of the management practices that a farmer should adopt. When you're doing the planting, uh, one is usually encourage you do the mulching because that is in terms of the water aspect. Two, there's usually the regular addition of manure. So normally you usually recommend uh, after every six to eight months, you can be adding the manure because you realize this is a plant that uses or exhausts the, the, uh, the manure that is in the soil because it's a living thing. So it's always good to keep adding the manure. Then number three, there's what we shall call pruning. As you can realize when you look at the trees, uh, you realize from the base it has more, like, more than four stems or you can talk of branches. So when you do the pruning, that is now reducing the number of the stems or rather the branches. Then you can also do the pruning at the top, that is to ensure there's a regular growth. 
Then another thing, because the branches are many, we should advise uh, in some way you control the branches to give them a regular shape. That is by tying them, uh, you can either use a barbed wire or a string, so you just put them in shape. Because really they, uh, they should have a spacing of 4 by 4 meters. I remember our farmer didn't know the actual measurements, so the ideal spacing is actually 4 by 4. Yes. Yeah. So what happens if a farmer really uh, puts like 3 by 3 or squeezes this particular crop? You realize that there will be that competition of space of which will harbor or will impact the production capacity of either of the two trees that are close to each other. What are the favorable climatic conditions when it comes to growing of pomegranates? Normally we shall advise uh, in an area of a temperature from 24 degrees to around 32 degrees Celsius. So you find these are areas where the climate is either warm or hot. Because the aspect of the warm, warmness and the hotness is what impacts on the quality of the fruit. I remember the farmer said that this is the wonderful variety. Maybe you can just mention some of the varieties that are there when it comes to pomegranate. Currently, find uh, the one that is well suited for Kenya is the wonderful. Because even if you go to any other grocery stores or even markets, the wonderful variety is one you find there. Because you find is the one that is well suited for Kenya. Because other varieties that you may find in Kenya maybe are just being imported from other countries. What are some of the health benefits of pomegranate? It's full of many antioxidants and even full of many nutritional nutrients. That is the vitamin C, E and K. So you find uh, it helps with the, that is the blood pressure, heart diseases, and even uh, with the regular consumption of it, uh, for those uh, who have the chronic diseases, it helps with that. And even it can even help in preventing the cancerous diseases, that is if you start consuming them prior. Cliff, now let me take you to the market. How were the market dynamics when it comes to pomegranate? Because it's a unique fruit. In Kenya, it's more of like a growing market. Because initially we found uh, pomegranate did exist, but people didn't know its value in terms of the economical value and even the health value. So now is when the most farmers are embracing it. Because we find uh, at the moment, uh, if you go now to the end market, that is where they're being sold in the big grocery stores, you find uh, a kilogram is being sold of, uh, at around uh, 800 to 1,000 shillings, that is a kg. But at uh, the farm gate price, you find uh, for a farmer, depending on the buyer, because you find the market has not yet stabilized itself, a, buyer can, a farmer can be selling it to a buyer from around 300 to around 600, that is the farm gate price. But you find 600, that is unless you now find the best buyer, because you find at the moment, Bado Ikona, the brokers in between, because you find uh, still farmers are trying to find their way into the market for the pomegranate. If a farmer is to venture into value addition of this particular crop, what are some of the ideas you would give? Pomegranate find uh, mostly is in terms of the juices, because you find uh, actually there are juices which exist for pomegranate. Uh, that is the key thing that you find, uh, because with the juice you can even produce it in the, its natural state. You will not need to add other ingredients in terms of preservatives. Cliff, in one word, how would you describe pomegranates? Kama vile kwa kisailo anita kukumanga. Definitely with the name, uh -huh. it actually amplifies what it does. Uh, it's full of antioxidants. Those are the, product, the nutrients in it, uh -huh. uh, which usually initiate the secretion uh -huh. of higher level of testosterone hormones. Whoa! Na kabla uh -huh. tunajua kwa biology, uh -huh. testosterone nile ina increase the sexual drive in humans. Wow, kumbe it's true. Yeah, it's true. I thought ni ku stereotype too. Kwa Kenya wengi, uh -huh. imesaidia sana kuweka ndoa nyingi intact. Uh -huh. Na because uh, tunamalizia, uh -huh. I'll also want for I'll also want for you uh -huh. kirudi nyumbani. Uh -huh. To see Nyumba Linda Livunjika. Allah, we make good home. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> so we, we we finish with this one. Yeah. Okay. Sawa. So you can take the other half. Uh huh. Yeah. I've been told to make a good home. Yeah. Let's start from here. Yes. <laughs> mm. How's the feeling? Mm. <laughs> it's not a feeling yet, <laughs> not feeling it yet, but well. Simba, really? Simba, yeah. Actually, thinking of the medicinal value of it, mm -hmm. I love it. Then 
has been quite insightful. Yeah. Now let me go make good homes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Karibu sana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She will make us proud. <laughs> well, I make you proud. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is a unique type of fruit. For Margaret, it has been quite an insightful show. I'm ready to make a good home. And besides that, good in vitamin C, K, and D, amongst other nutritional values. I hope you've enjoyed today's show of pomegranate. Many call it kukumanga. So, make good home. See you next week.